redeeming the image of Africa all over the world. Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are across the world. I remain my humble self, Arenga. Today, I am at Mobi Royal Family. That's the original slave lyrics museum in Badagri. That is where I am right now. And I'm going to give you the full tour of this historical place. Don't go anywhere, stay tuned and keep your eyes on what we have for you. Thank you very much. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. So here we are, and uh, this is uh, the man in charge of uh, the Moby uh, Royal. Uh, what's Family it called? Slave Family Slave Release Museum. Uh, so your name, sir? My name is. So uh, it's even Moby. Ah, Moby. Tell me, talk Moby. That means that your four, 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 four great, great, great grandfathers. They are part of this. Uh, Ah, in fact, I would love to, 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 to hear the full story. So, it's the curator here at the museum. So, don't go anywhere, stay tuned, and uh, listen attentively to what happened to our great, 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 great grandfather. Thank you very much. You are welcome to Balagri. You are welcome to Movie Family's Leverless Museum, where we have the real chain that was used on our forefather during the period of state trade. Transatlantic slave trade lasted for over 400 years in Africa before it was abolished in Badagri in the year 1886 by the help of the Mount Berry Day. The Mount Berry Day is my great 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 grandfather. I happen to be the fourth generation. Oh, your, this is your great 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 grandfather. Grandfather, yeah. And you are the fourth generation. generation. Yeah. So his name is Sumbu Mugi. Sumbu was his real name. But during the period of the trade, whenever the white people come around to buy slaves from him, because he was into buying and selling of slaves, he buys slaves from the black, sell to the white. Whenever the white people come around to buy slaves, the, the Baba Berry they will always offer them cola nuts. He will tell them, when you go around the movie, which means my white friend, eat cola nuts and heat. They now nickname him shit movie. Okay, a Mobi so, je. Obi is cola nuts in Yoruba language. Ah, okay. So Mobi is now a family name. And also a Shetansi title in Baragri. So you can hear the movie of Baragri Kingdom. Yeah. Baragri has its quarters. Movie family are the one controlling the equal quarters in Baragri. So she showed me movie was a slave facilitator. He buys sales from the black and sell to the white. Slaves were not captured in Baragri. Our Rama Sonkwa had been free more more. Slaves were not captured in Baragri. Slaves were actually brought from the hinterland. Or your open or shoot down to the down to Quara. Any slave gotten from that hand will be brought to Badagri. Why those gotten from the northern part of the country and some part of the eastern part are taken to Calabar? Those are the two slave coasts we have in Nigeria. One in Badagri, one at Calabar. Now, 
This Aba was into buying and selling of slaves, buys from the black, sell to the white. This was his staff of office. Whenever he's going out, one of his daughters will carry this, eating it on the floor, shaking it. So this was like Siren in those days. Whoever hear the sound of this, you know that the chief is coming. Men come out and prostrate. Can I touch this? You can. Men come out and prostrate while women kneel down to show sign of respect to the Baba during his lifetime. The man died on the 16th of October, 1893. He was buried here in the museum. So Baba is here now? He's, yes. Why these are royal musical instruments played by the wife of the family anytime they have a special program? They will come outside, tie wrapper around their body, and they play this instrument. It has a unique sound and rhythm. They play like this. They sing and dance to the rhythm of the instrument. And each of the gong has its own unique sound as well. This one sounds like this. So while some are playing this, some will be playing this instrument. Now this is a statue of the castrated slaves. During the period of slave trade, we have two types of slaves. We have domestic slaves and plantation slaves. Domestic slaves are slaves that work in the house. The male domestic slaves are always castrated. For them not to have sexual intercourse with the children or wife or wife, because that's the reason why they mm. castrate them. And also for them to lift every object, like the cannon gun we are going to see outside. Within mm. 10 and 20 slaves are made to carry the cannon gun, but today now, men up like me and you, 100 of us cannot carry the cannon gun. Wow. Today. We can try it when we get outside. We can lift it up from the ground. So back to the chain. This is called the neck lock. This is what the slaves have around their neck for 18 hours every day. Hmm? They carry this on their neck like this for 18 hours every day. They work with this in the farm. Anytime they are going to the market, this will have to be on their neck. I would like you to feel the weight of the chain. Oh, I should put it on you. Mm -hmm. uh. This is what our forefather carry for 18 hours. How does it look like? Uh, yeah. It's light? Man, 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 this is... This is terrible. So you can see how wicked the white people had to our forefather during the period of slave trade. This is used on any slave that is used to work in the farm. This will be forced into his hand, down to the wrist. Most of the time, they have to break the bone before this could go in. In the course of the day, some of the slaves die. And for the lucky ones among them, after forcing this in, they unscrew this side and hang the slave to torture for a day. With the leg not touching the ground, it's going to be suspended on the tree from morning to night. That's a punishment for refusing to work in the farm. Why these are used on the children? This are for the children. Children are not allowed to move closer to their parents while they are working in the farm. So they have to chain them, like three, four, five, six of them together. Make them sit down far away from where their parents are working. For them not to go and disturb their parents while they are working in the farm. Why this is called the mouth clip? Slaves, slaves are not allowed to eat or talk while working in the farm. So they usually perforate their lips with this instrument. This is called the branding iron. They put it in fire when it is red hot. They perforate their upper lips and their lower lips. Whenever they are going to the farm, they fix this and padlock. Why? For them not to eat or talk while working in the farm. This is called the branding iron. During the period of slave trade, slaves don't have name. They bear the name of their master or any name their master feel like giving them. So if Mr. Williams, for example, comes to Varagri to buy slaves, on all the slaves he buys, he's going to write Williams either at the chest or with, at, this. with this instrument. They put it in fire. When it is red hot, they use it to write on their body. Oh, Williams as in just W or the Williams. Williams on their body. 
and we have turned that to fashion now. Tattoo. Tattoo. That's the beginning of tattoo. So does that mean that those having tattoos, they are slaves? I didn't say so. <laughs> Did you hear that from my mouth? <laughs> so you, so, we are, we are no, done I that was just fashion. thinking of uh, having tattoo now. But uh, hearing so after this, hearing this, I, don't, I, don't, no, no, I don't think so. <laughs> now, the last function of this is to punish any slave that tried to escape being captured. It's a great thing for a slave to try to escape. The white people believe that when a slave escapes, it's going to go and form another group of free slaves to come and free the remaining slaves. So it's a great thing then for a slave to try to escape. So if a slave tries to escape and is being caught, they put this in fire. Now put the leg on a falling tree and eat this inside the leg of the slave to pierce the leg, to break the bone inside the leg so that that slave will not have the strength to run away. In the course of doing this, most of the slaves died. Why doing this? Because there was nothing like head scare during that period. This is called the hanko leg for the leg of two slaves. They use this to reduce their movement. So they have to have lock their leg like this. And the two of them we have to move the leg at the same time. Can ah. we try and can we try to move the leg? Ah. Let's try it. Yeah. Oh my so god. So this is how they want to be moving in the farm. And why going to the farm? Or why taking them to point of no return? Now, at the point of no return, there is a well called spirit at the nation world. They force the slave to drink from that world. After drinking from it, they become less aggressive. At times they lost their memory. Is so the well still in existence? Yes, well, we still have it in Badakri up to date. So that was what makes it easy for the white people to transport our forefather out of Badagri. And that is one of the reasons why Badagri was known to be the biggest and the largest slave market during the period. This was the money we spent during the period. Cows. Yes, I saw something but like the, this at the, the first white time. people doesn't recognize this as money. And so they introduced us trade by butter. Because they don't recognize this as money, they introduced trade by butter to us. So a bottle of dry gin, whiskey, brandy, was in exchange of 10 slaves. Then, I mean, whenever the white people come around with this, they go home with 10 people. Then, so... And uh, it is your great-grandfather that sells these people to them. Yes, sir. But we, we celebrate him today now because he abolished, he fought for their freedom. After selling to them? Yes, sir. In the year 1886. He has Europe. already sold everybody before. So who are the people that he now fought for? <laughs> the, last, the last vessel that left Badagri in the year 1886 were asked to return back to Badagri. On landing, probably they would have preached to him. He sees the last vessel. All the slaves inside the vessel and the chain. That's the reason why the family has Then the my question is, how did he have a change of mind? He was the one that accommodated the early missionary. Yeah. Probably they were they were pushed to him. Then okay. for the abolition. Of okay, in that wise, maybe the the, the missionaries also they, helped they, they, as they, in abolishing. Yes, uh, yes. They came the in. Slave they trade. came in while the trade was on. Okay. They came into Badagri 1842. Okay. Yeah. And he accommodated them. He offered them um, land where they built the first story building. The first school in Nigeria was also built in the first story building in Nigeria. And that is why Badagri was known to be the cradle of Christianity and civilization in Nigeria. In Nigeria. Wonderful. So here we have the slave drinking water bowl. The original slave drinking water bowl. By the time the slave comes back from the farm, they have to come with their hand tied to the back. They bend down and drink water like goats. They lift water like dogs. Like this? And the... Exactly. Uh, uh. Now, whenever the water gets down, they give one handful of water for one day. Hmm? One hand full of water for one day. In the course of drinking, they get caught. You can feel the edge of the pot. Just feel the edge and tell me what you observe. What do you observe? Very sharp. So in the course of drinking, they get caught. Their blood enter the water. So they drink that water like that. Wow. Because they have access to food and water once in a day. 
You are welcome to Baragui. My name is Timothy Kwanubi. I don't know what to say. This is too much for me to bear. I, do, I really don't know what to say. However, those of you in diaspora, if you wish to come for vacation in Nigeria, uh, I will employ you and encourage you to come down to Badagri and then make sure you visit uh, Moby Relis uh, Museum. Come and uh, see for yourself what our great, great, great grandfathers passed through in, in the hands of uh, the slave masters. And you all need to come down to this place. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, there, there's this thing you said that uh, we will try to lift. Where is it? It's outside. Outside? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's, let's see. Let's see. Eh? Eh, Now, this is a kind of one. One of his gone was actually in a state of 100 people. So we are standing in the midst of 200 slaves then. So whenever the white people come around with one of these gone, they go home with 100 people. Is this a gun? This is a cannon gun. They fill here, here with gunpowder. They fill here with gunpowder, ignite the bottom, it will explode. Now they brought this for us to wage war against the small small communities so as to use to capture more people and sell to them to the... so you are welcome once again so and how many people like 10, carry between this? 10 and 20 people we made to carry this but we can actually lift it if we can eh? let's try it ah 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 yeah so ah this is what they made our forefathers to carry during the period of slavery. Ah. Oh my gosh. This is too much. Anyway, I just have to call it a day here. Thanks for watching and uh, remain blessed. Thank you.